Hello folks, we are, we're working on this, this dragon that's in the, 
That corner? I think that's the right corner. This little dragon. Let me see if I can get him focused in the camera. There we go. Um, he is, uh, he's off of Amazon. And, um, he exists. This is as far as I got, uh, on my trip. Uh, so I went to a Jewish women's gathering retreat kind of thing. Also, I am having too much sound happening for me. Other people might be fine with it, but I am hearing too much sound. So, sorry, while I do that. So anyway, um, so I, I did the body while I was on, on the retreat, um, which was, by the way, a huge amount of fun. We got a lot, a lot of arts and crafts done and, uh, you know, adulty summer camp kind of thing. I've got some tie-dye t-shirts that are currently getting their final wash in my washing machine. And I did a lot of block printing. But, um, but this dude I was supposed to work on on the flight. And I did on the flight there, but on the flight back I passed the heck out. So we're gonna work on, on him some more. Um, at least until we get to the part where we, in this case, actually use the glue stick that that came with this this little guy all right that was my test test yarn so this is my actual yarn Ugh, and there's the aforementioned glue stick that was included um, the stitch marker i'm actually using and i'm gonna put this box away because we don't need it all right i think i actually probably don't need the white anymore but we'll find out because i don't know what i'm doing um in that what i mean is i'm blindly following the directions so basically we made this um weird lumpy sperm and um we stuffed it with polyfill and then we um added a tail to it oh no we're still working with white so we're gonna make two ears two horns four claws, two back legs, two wings, and then we stitch it all up, including um, gluing with the glue gun this purple fluff to it. So we're going to work on ears now, I guess. After this, we will need the rest of this white. I did manage to actually center pull this white when I started it. Which was pretty cool. Um, anyway, so I was away from Saturday until today, uh, and and got got a pretty pretty good time of it um, at the at the retreat. So, all right, so we're starting this with a white yarn, working in a magic ring six stitches, and then we're doing uh, six increases, and then we fasten off. Okay. So this is going to be a very, very tiny, tiny little ear kind of thing, but that's fine. Um, okay, so how do we do this? Uh, pull a chain through, that, that should start a, that starts a magic ring, right? Okie dokie. Um, okay. Let's... Let's pretend like I know what I'm doing. Uh, by the way, I do not know what I'm doing. Even remotely. Which I'm sure... Basically, everyone who does know what they're doing in crochet has realized is the truth about my crochet abilities right about now. Um, no regrets. All right, one, two. Oh my God, what is going on? No, that's not how we do this. Why did I forget how to crochet between then and now? Nobody answer that. Nobody, nobody answer that. That's 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 a what we call a rhetorical question. 
Okay. We do not leave stitches on the hook. It's not a knitting needle. One. Two. Three. Four. I can do this. Five. Eight. Great. Did you say five? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, and I need six, so one more. One more, and then we pull to make this magic ring tightened. Why is this not working? Why are you not working? I had the... I had the magic ring thing. It should be working. There we go, maybe. I guess when when all else fails, pull tighter. Okay. Oy vey. Okay. We did that. Now we do one chain in six increases and then a slip stitch. And then we do it again. But in a different piece. So chain. And then six increases which includes to figuring out what the heck is going on over here by which i mean this bungled up start of the magic circle which i keep wanting to call the magic loop but that's that weird thing that people do with uh, when they want to make like socks on one needle, on one giant needle. Okay, one increase. And two increases. And yeah. Yeah. Three increases and four increases and five increases. increases and slip stitch okay fasten off and leave a long end for sewing I don't know how long is long so we're gonna go with about that long okay here's um, an ear Let's do that again, shall we? Me and like magic circle thing doesn't really go together very well. So the interesting thing about this pattern is, so RGB and I started working on it um, together in that I worked on mine and she worked on hers. And um, hers is like twice the size, like it looks like her dragon kind of ate my dragon or 
could have eaten my dragon. Which I find mildly hilarious. Alright. Uh, chain. Then. Now we increase this a billion times. By which I mean six times. One. Two. Also, it is very cold in my house, which is why I'm wearing this Udi. Um, so that was one increase. This is two increases. Increases. Keep, keep not being able to like keep this thing in, in context. track which is fine this is five and then this is gonna be six one and two and then we have two Stitch this end. Here we go. Leave a long ish tail and pull through. That's our ear number two. Let's mark that as done. Those two rounds. Done and done. Now we make horns. The horns are going to be brown. I want to say they're the only things that are brown in this experience. Let's see if we can figure out center pull on this thing. Mm. Ah, yarn barf. Here we go. Such is life. I don't even know if we'll use up all this yarn barf because these horns are kind of tiny and kind of annoying. I don't know if folks remember how annoying the staff of the little death was. The tail of this dragon was even worse. All right, working to magic ring, chain four stitches. Oh my god, okay. Magic ring is just a giant pile of nonsense is what it is. Giant pile full of nonsense. Does not a ring make, but we will pull the string and see what happens. Okay, well. Working into a magic ring, one chain, four stitches, and then slip. So. Let's do the slip thing. 
provided I can figure out three, four. Whatever the heck was going on over here, we shall just I'm just gonna pretend like it's nothing weird. All good. Slip stitch. Okay, great. Just had a pencil. I just had a pencil. Let's not lose it. Okay. Chain one and then four around. Okay. One. Chain chained one. Now we do four single crochets. is going on over here and it's gonna be our fourth stitch four stitches okay and then we do a slip stitch Heck. let us slip stitch that nonsense okay round two round three one chain, an increase, and three singles. Okay. One chain, and then an increase. So let me one and into the same space. Two. So I think I might crochet a lot, a lot tighter than, uh, for example, RGB, who usually says that she has to go down a, a hook size, which is like mildly hilarious. I, on the other hand, apparently just very tight about this <sighs> which is funny because I'm a very loose knitter All right. and then we just chain and um, single crochet five so chain and I feel like this is supposed to be like becoming a uh, a tube and it's just kind of not All right so now we Need single crochet five. Nope. Theoretically, we can do that. One. Two. Oops. And, and that. Okay. Chain one increase and four stitches. Okay. Chain one. 
and then we shall increase and then we're supposed to do four stitches on They still do not look like horns in that they just don't. Now we're supposed to just do six single crochets, okay. Uh, all right. One. Like this is not this is not what this picture shows. Right, like this is not not a dragon's horn. I feel like I should try to redo this. Well, let me do the second one and see if it um looks similarly terrible. If it looks fine, I'm going to redo this one. But if the second one looks just like this one, then I guess this is what they get to look like. Oh, excuse me. I think tonight's going to be an early night because, like, apparently we're tired. All right, working into a magic ring. Chain one and then four stitches. Four single crochets and stuff. Okay, here's our chain stitch. nonsense. Okay. And then we slip stitch, right? One, two, three, four. So we slip stitch into the first stitch. I think. I don't actually know. Like, I never know where I'm supposed to slip stitch into but I think it's the first stitch 
Okay, so tiny little button done. Chain one and then four stitches again. Okay, chain one. slip stitch. Okay. Okay. And then we do chain and increase and then three stitches. So chain. And an increase. So one stitch. Two stitch, and then I think it's three stitches, right? Is that what we said? I think. Ugh. Oh my goodness! Okay. Two, three, and slip stitch. Okay, so so far it looks about the same as the other one. That was round three. Now chain and then five stitches and then slip stitch. Okay, well. Let's see if we actually have five stitches here. stitch okay well, I guess we had five stitches um, okay now we do chain increase and four stitches so we have a total of six so chain and then an increase so one two and then four stitches so one two three four and we slip stitch back to the end. Nope, not, not a single, a slip stitch. Yep, okay. And then we chain and do six. So, chain, and now, let's see. One. Two. And 
away extra nonsense and finally slip stitch okay well that looks like about the same as the other one so I guess that's just what we get for um, horns in this particular dragon okay so we've made two of these now we're gonna make claws and I have to make four of these so like that was all the brown I needed okay meanwhile I'm like gonna run out of white here okay Oh goody, another magic ring. This one is a six stitcher. And there's my chain. we slip stitch this to the first chain stitch there we go okay and then rounds two through four chain one and seven six singles and then slip and then we're gonna sew the this one's gonna be like a little baggy okay we count one two three four And six. And then we slip stitch this on, provided I can slip stitch it. So that was round two. And we're supposed to do this two through four, so three times. So that was round two. Now we just need to do also round three and round four. Well, chain and there's a girl. We 
can do the slip stitch. It's not that hard. I mean, that's how I know I crochet too tightly. So that was round three. And now we're gonna do it one more time. One. Two. this nonsense okay so now what they tell me is break yarn sew hole closed and leave as long end for sewing so how do I sew this closed when it's like a tiny thimble I guess it's supposed to be like a weird tiny nonsense so First of all, we pull this through, but then, then we need to sew it closed, which means that I need the needle. Which I mean, this tapestry needle that is hiding somewhere at the bottom of this bag. not gonna change how I sit so I'm gonna change where the camera is and you're gonna see my terrible grimy table and I'm not gonna care because I am constantly pulling my hands out of view that's no good all right so we are supposed to just sew this shut it said. So like, that's a thing that is happening. Uh, I did watch all the videos for this, at least in theory. as sewn shut as it was gonna get. So it should, by which I mean we're gonna close up this end too. one and there's supposed to be how many of these four of these oh yeah yoy. okay Two, 
like this is not a magic loop this is some sort of weird ass mobius strip Now we do three, okay, wait, now, yes, now we do three rows of six stitches, so, chain, and let's do this, one, two, slip stitch okay well that's that's row two Pretend like it makes any sense to stitch that cold closed. This is like too wide for that, but such is life. Okay, and you, my friend, are gonna be like basically the thing stuffing these. Right? That's that's what the tail of the yarn is for, obviously. And 
four. Slip stitch. Okay, great. And now we do several rounds of just six. So here we go. One, two, Okay. Oh, what did I do? A chain? I did. I did a chain. Other thing. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. One. Yeah, maybe I'm a little bit too tight about this. Two. Six. 
Okay. I think that was three stitches. Or three rows, rather. my phone alarm ring out. I'm supposed to go take my meds at some point soon. So next ad break is going to be take our meds day. I ran an ad at the beginning of stream so we've got some time yet before um, before it becomes an emergent issue. That's three of them. Okay. Chain and yeah. one, two, three. One more round, I think. I think.
this shall be our our fourth claw. Okay. Okay, four of those are done now. not whether I have to use the the other yarn. I'm kind of hoping I have enough because okay so Six, okay. One, two, three, four, this with a slip stitch Chain one, single crochet increase three times. Okay, so let's make nine out of the six, I guess. Chain one. And then single crochet. And come on. And then an increase. So that was that was the single crochet. Now we do two into this next stitch, so one and two. That was one of our three repeats. So next repeat we do a single and then an increase stitch, so one. Uh, 
face. One. And two. And then we s slip stitch this nonsense on. And we ostensibly are going to have nine stitches on. Do we really have nine stitches? Who knows? That's that's the magic of crochet, right? No one knows. Okay. Now in three and four, just do chain one. then nine singles so that's how we're gonna know whether we indeed have nine stitches or not this is a little bit a little bit tight that's okay one And again, we do that row three and row four. So one more time. And let's try this one. And two. single on the slip stitch. There we go. Okay. Then we stuff it with fiber fill, fold it, and crochet through both layers. Okay. This is like not big enough to stick any fiber fill into. Also, there's no way I can make um, a second leg out of this, right? Well, I guess we take a tiny, tiny bit of fiber foam and shove it in there. Okay, crochet through this. So, chain one, and then through both both layers so yikes yikes on bikes one We 
are not going to have a long tail for stitching. We're going to barely have any tail at all. But we have a tail. And I guess we have to use this other other white, which is like an entirely different shade of white. Do I have any Do I have any like quote unquote real white left over from Tiny Death instead? Because it also had like a very, very terrible white practice yarn and then this like slightly ivory yeah because this is nonsense tiny death to the rescue to the rescue have to do one more of these oh but I then I'm also gonna need to wait for the oh, for the wings so I'm glad I have more that's Chained one, and now we're gonna pick up some one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Chain one and then single increase three times. So chain. Single crochet. Um, increase. Increase. Increase and increase and then single and increase and increase and then slip stitch. Then we do chain nine singles twice. So one, two, stitch and then again chain and one two three four five 
stitch. Okay, and then we stuff it with the other tail. And the world's tiniest polyfill. Tiny, 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 tiny bit of polyfill. And then we apparently crochet through it to both sides. So that's going to be a thing. Let's give it like at least a little bit of a tail, though I'm now very worried about running out. Okay. Wings. Start with a chain working in rows. Once you reach the end of a row, it's time to work back along the other way. To do this, you turn to work. Start with a slip lot. So when it comes, you the first loop and a hook. Make a loop in the yarn, blah, blah, blah. Okay, start with the light purple yarn. Let's put ah, fudge cakes. First of all, these are bits and bobs of that, but also let's put the brown away because I don't think we need it anymore. At least it doesn't look like we need it immediately anymore. Let's get the Oh, minimal yarn barf. Okay. Working into a chain. 18, 18 chain stitches. Okay. Okay. And then we change to white yarn. Skip two chain stitches. So one, two, okay, and to the third, uh, half a double. So half a double is yarn over. And then through all three, that's half a double, right? I think. I think that's what half a double is. Uh, now eight doubles, then skip one stitch and a slip stitch. Okay. Mm. 
don't really understand how this is gonna work, but I guess we'll find out. So that was my half double. Now I have to do eight doubles. And double is okay. like that, and then through these two, and then through these two. That is double. Provided I can do it. Come on, that's a double. Okay. So that was a one, one double. drop your stitches. Three. Four. Seven. Okay. No. Eight. Okay. So that makes sense. So eight. Skip one stitch and then. Okay. So skip one and then slip stitch. Okay. And then we do this next thing three times, which is chain nine chain. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Turn. Skip two, one, two, and then do a half a half a double, okay. And then do six doubles, okay. All right. one stitch and okay and do a do a slip stitch okay okay so that was one time one two three Seven, eight, nine. Turn, skip one, two, and do a half, half a thingy, and then six doubles. So Three, 
One and slip stitch. Okay. Skip one and slip stitch. Oh, we have only half space for one wing. Which is insane. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Skip two, one, two, and then do a half double, and then six doubles. So one. stitch. Okay, fasten off and leave a long end for sewing. Use light purple yarn, sew the four feathers on the wing fabric together, two by two. Okay, well, that's the end of my white yarn. Oh, it's ads time. All right, we're going to run an ad, and while we do, I'm going to put us into BRB mode, and it's going to be time to take meds and get a drink. See everybody soon.
I at least. Definitely got myself a drink. I hope you all did too. Also took my meds and flipped my laundry. Because that's, that's where we're at right now. Tastes like medicine. Slightly gross, but only slightly. Okay, so now we're supposed to stitch the use light purple yarn, sew the four feathers onto the wing two by two. Okay. Let's pretend I know what it's talking about. Judging by the picture, they literally just kind of get stacked. In that they get like stacked together like so, and then that gets stitched, stitched on, so. Anchor this nonsense over here so that it is not going anywhere. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it kind of looks like we just. Just stitching this nonsense on. Like stacked on top of each other. Before that, it all looks like a weird, um, kind of like weirdly cooked octopus tentacle. I think it's because it's like got curling up limbs. Also, this is staticky AF. Which, to be fair, probably has more to do with what I'm wearing than with anything else. Because this thing is made out of static clang, as far as I can tell. Like, made. Made from static clang. Okay. drive me insane. He's just clinging to literally everything. Oh my god. Everything is like... They 
legally attaching itself to this down here, which we really needed to not. What is happening? What is happening? And why is it happening? Because like this wing is not supposed to look like butts on this side. Clinging to everything. Easier said than done. Okay, so that's that's that attached. And then this is gonna get attached here. Stop that. Everything is, of course, static clinging to itself and its friends and its neighbors. <laughs> because why would it not? Like, that would make life easier, and we can't have that. to the purple as well in a useful sort of way. Maybe useful sort of way, who can tell. Okay, well, and Thank you. 
Okay. So there's our there's our wing, and it's uh, all around terribleness. Um, let's see if we can make. back look a little bit better. crocheting into like half of it which means that the other half of it is kind of just loosely hanging out over here and we're gonna tack it down just so that it is not loosely hanging out anymore but is you know like neatly and purposefully hanging out Okay, well, that's that's a wing. Let's trim off all the extra crap here. That can go away. That probably needs to get like a knot tight in itself, and then can get cropped off. Let's see if we can pull it through to somewhere. How about we just pull it through, pull them both through over this way. Sense. Okay, so we have a wing. It's even vaguely what it's supposed to be. But we don't have any more white for. Hmm. No, this random yarn is a completely different yarn. So I guess we have to use this weird shiny white because, like, what else are we going to do? This was my, like, test thing. And I wasn't testing whether I can crochet. I was testing whether the tie-dye color that, like, stained my hands uh, was going to come off on the yarn. And the answer was no. So. All right. So that was... Uh, that was wing number one. Did I just kick the camera? I think I did. Well. We will have to deal. Let's do this again. So we need a purple chain of um, 18 stitches. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
18, 16, 17, 18. Lovely, totally not different shade of white. White. Okay. Chain one. Turn. Skip two. Alone. Okay, half double done. Uh, oh, and then eight doubles. Okay. yarn ever um one double two doubles ah 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 Maybe, maybe seven, I think seven. Oh my God. So I crocheted something with this, I took it apart and apparently that just makes it no longer usable yarn. Is that how this works? Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. One more. Before I go insane. Um, and so that would be eight. So now what do I do after the eight? Skip one and. And slip step. Okay, slip stitched. Now nine, chain nine. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Turn, skip two, and then have, do a half the whole turn. One, two, and then do a, a half double. Oh my god. Pulling things through all these stitches is basically impossible. Basically impossible. Unpossible. And then do six double crochets. of course. One. Two. Three. Six doubles. So one. Oh, there we go. One. And skip one and do a slip stitch. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. and do a half double half double and do six doubles so One, 
to Six and skip one and do a slip stitch. And off leaving an own tail. Okay. So that's that. And then we use the purple yarn to do the weird thing. That's good. Definitely okay. Definitely not a differently colored wing. Definitely not anything weird about this dragon. Definitely not calamari. Please ignore the fact that it looks like it's calamari. static cling my butt nothing should static cling to my butt thank you very much please nothing static cling to my butt Let's get this stitching going. This is like an absolutely terrible thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure we need one, just one more stitch. Stop clinging.
other. Right, next weather time. Okay. Okay. Make it look like it's not a freaking broken wing. Right now it looks like it is a broken wing. Okay. I guess that's non-terrible. Okay, so that can go. 
get snacked. off okay. and then this is for touch wood purposes okay what is next on our list of Okay, next I think is all of the assembly, which is where we um, have to use hot glue gun, which, you know what, that's not happening. We're not using the hot glue gun tonight. It's almost midnight. And um, some of us have to get up at 6 a.m. for a plane. That some is, is in fact me. So therefore, we've made all the parts, so we'll put it together at a later time. Let me put all of these bits and bobs away into the the box whence they came from including all the bits that are not the giant sperm which does not fit into the box but everything else totally does including the booklet and the pencil cauliflower cauliflower really fit so we have the box, the polyfill, and the dust pan for later assembly. Oh my god. <sighs> Meanwhile, do we have somebody who is around we can ring? Who's around? <laughs> and doing, you know, crafty things. Um, is anybody? Uh, people are doing all sorts of things, but none of them are crafty. Let's see. Who do I have? Hmm. Because there's... Is anybody from the Crafty Collective streaming currently? Uh, let's see. Somebody's playing Sims. Somebody's doing art. Mm. Let's see. Creative club. No, just just. doing fiber arts. What is totally a category? Fiber. Oops. Oh, let's see. Somebody is crocheting. Somebody else is knitting socks.
like a commercial is what they look like. Hit free rolls. I hate free rolls a lot. This person is crocheting tiny little critters. And this person is I'll know what they're doing once we're no longer in an ad. Okay, yeah. Snoring cat by Bards. Seems like a perfectly great person to visit. So let's go visit them. Rave. Mm. See if I can find them. Snoring cat by birds. Snoring cat by birds. Let's go rave. 